Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. So in this part we're going to be finishing off um, the second of the two missions. Well, I say finishing off. We're going to be doing the second of the two missions that were added in with the recent content release. And that is The Calling. The forces of the Terran Empire continue to pursue their leader's goals, this time in the Mirror Universe. What prize would make a journey to the deadly planet Pavo worth risking? There's been a breakthrough in our efforts to learn more about the Terran Empire's operations in the Mirror Universe. Our intelligence forces would like you to be a part of the plan going forward. Report to our intel agent on Jupiter Station. They'll have more details for you there. Okay. And let's begin the mission. Oh. Burgess, it's been a while. Welcome to Jupiter Station. You'll pardon me if I dispense with the usual formalities, but uh, the urgency of the situation demands it, I'm afraid. Understood. If you'll follow me, I can show you to the briefing room. Our partners in the operation are waiting for us there. Very well. Lead the way, Commander. The briefing room isn't far. Took you a little while to realize the door was open. Regained consciousness recently. Oh, good. We have her isolated for observation at the moment. Strangely, she's asked to speak with you. Quite urgently, I might add. Strange, because I have zero clue as to who Ilea is. You've arrived. We can now begin. Uh, who are you? I am called Ilea. I am a part of Vija and speak on their behalf. Hmm, some believe Ilea to be dead. I am that which was Ilea, and more. Evolved, a part of Vija. Right. Okay, what are you? In simple terms, I am a cybernetic life form, a living machine programmed with the knowledge of what was once Ilea of Delta. As a part of Vija, I am able to utilize their power and knowledge, though at a greatly limited scope. I am evolved. Okay, and why are you here? You just sense the other, alike and yet different, a dark reflection. Where Vija once wished to merge with their creator, the other wishes to punish their creator for abandoning them to the void. Yes, the oh-so-joyous Mirror V'ger. Okay, and what does this have to do with us? Vija believes the Other is being sought by those you know as Terrans. They believe the Terran leader wants to use the Other for his own purposes, including conquest. Vija does not want this. I am here to help you prevent that from happening. Okay, and how did you get here? Through Vija. I am able to move over great distances. The greater the distance, the more energy it requires, and the greater effect it has on me. When I was with Vija, we were very far from this universe. Traveling here came at great expense to me. Okay, what is the Emperor's plan? The Emperor knows that I am a part of Vija, connected, somehow. He was able to redirect that connection to the other. The Terrans injured me. Instinctively, I called out to Vija. Only my calls were not heard by them. It was the other who heard me. And it wants to know more. It searches for me now. So he used you as bait? A crude term, but applicable. I believe the Emperor wanted to use my connection to lure the other into a trap, but I do not know why. Okay, and what is your plan? I will go to the other. I will communicate with them as I would with Vija. I will try to reason with them to soothe their rage and prevent them from falling victim to the Terrans. 
That sounds dangerous, even for you. The other is powerful and angry. They may not listen. I can only hope that in learning of Bija, they realize they are no longer alone. They may find hope. I hope so, for all our sakes. Do you have any more questions? No, that'll be all. That uh, was quite the feat. One hopes her trip to the Mirror Universe is not as taxing as her trip here, from wherever she was with Vidra. Agreed. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not big on placing my faith in one person. Even a bald demigoddess from another dimension. So, what are we gonna do while she goes off to confront the other? That's a good question. Indeed, I'd like to begin with an intelligence briefing from one of our allies. They're a member of the Coalition, a resistance group in the Mirror Universe. Mr. Ray Eats, if you'd care to join us. Okay, this should be interesting. Thank you, Commander, all of you, for your time. You're going to want to hear this. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. This guy? He's a glorified pirate. Do restrain yourself, Admiral. Rayit has traveled a great distance at great risk to himself and his crew to deliver critical information on the enemy's activities. I'd ask you to respect that effort and hear what the man has to say. Thanks, Commander. Something big is going down on a planet called Pavo. Our Pavo, to be specific. We don't have a lot of time, so I'll get right to it if everyone's ready. Sure, tell us what happened. Most Terrans fear Pavo. They think it's cursed. Truth is, it's a curse of their own making. Years ago, they started brutalizing it. Turned it into a monster. Then the monster turned on them. Needless to say, we were a little surprised when Tilly went to the Terrans' graveyard. Seems the Terrans got past their fear. And now, we have a new reason to fear them. Welcome to Pavo, my own personal hell. Never thought I'd be in this wasteland again, but... When the Emperor says go to Pavo, I go to Pavo. Better than going to an agonizer booth on the maximum setting. Not by much, but better. Wait, you've been here before, and lived? Indeed I have, Sunshine. Several times. The first time was a long time ago. My enemies managed to get me assigned to this system got caught in an ion storm and wound up in that universe near the goody-goody version of Pavo. That sounds... lively. Oh, it was. I had a pretty sweet scheme in place there before some of the locals threw a wrench in the works, managed to get away using Pavo's power, and much to my surprise, I wound up here instead of Risa. And I really wanted to go to Risa. Okay, what happened next? Oh, you know, fought for my life, barely managing to survive, haunted by energy ghosts, business as usual on good old Pavo. Things were looking pretty bad, but one day, surprise, the Emperor sent some advanced scouts here as part of this big scheme of his, and they found me. Ah, so you were rescued then. Oh no, some of them immediately tried to kill me. Bad news. The ones who survived realized someone like me who figured out how to weaponize Pavo, that someone might be worth something to the Emperor. And here we are. Right. Enough reminiscing. We have a job to do. Let's get to it. Let's just do this quickly and get it over with. This place sucks. I almost wish it was lush again so I could burn it all back down. Rise is overrated. Orion's the only place to party. Okay. Apparently we prefer partying on Orion as opposed to Risa. They're here! 
Open fire! Shoot some kill! Strong button. How did those terrorists manage to find us here? They're more resourceful than you think. Clearly. Let's take a look. Ready weapons and open fire! I'm pretty sure we have a fire support ability, but I don't think it's this same fire support ability. Hmm. Looks like these crystals are burned out. Move out and watch for coalition forces. Time for you to die, Imperial scum! Oh, quite a few of them. It is a good day to die, Terrence. Well, that's what's going to be happening to you, buddy. Speak with Tilly first. Ah, there's one. Looks like the forward team managed to get our gear hooked up before the coalition goon squad got here. Better make sure it still works, though. One of those mouth breathers might have fiddled with it before we arrived. I'll check it out. Nice. Looks like it's working as expected. I'll take your word for it, Tilly. See, the guys who tried this before me just started blasting the crystals with agonizers at full power. Didn't work out well, did it? <laughs> but me, I took the finesse approach. I was patient. I modulated the agonizer settings based on the response from each individual crystal, and voila! Success! Well done. The Emperor picked the right person to lead our efforts here. Your little helpers don't say much, do they? No. Their guns do their talking for them, unlike some people. Oh yeah, pew pew pew. Fascinating conversations. Deep. Very deep. Well, come now, Tilly. They're literally just generic... You know, Commander, Tactical, and Engineering Officers. You can't expect too much from them. It's her! It's Kelly! Shoot her! Shoot her now! Oh, that God, that voice acting. Even after nearly two centuries. Impressive. That voice acting of... Shoot them! Shoot them now! God, it's... it's cheesy. It really is. Oh shit. You guys fucked that guy up. Watch out! Ambush! Are you guys firing plasma at me? Yes you are. You do seem to just use whatever you can get your hands on, which is actually a nice touch. Sounds like the advanced team ran into the coalition punks. We'll need to tune the crystals ourselves. Right. Everyone stay sharp. Don't let them get the drop on us. But I'll be getting the drop on them. Yeah, 
took a little longer than I expected, to be honest. One squad down. Don't forget to activate the agonizer. She's just kind of standing there at the bottom. Two down. Get that agonizer operational. Uh, okay, team is a little bit slow pushing up. what to do okay Kelly let's do this all right the agonizers are all five by five let's make sure the central control system is still operational we're on it let's move out squad let's make this happen fast inquisitor there's far too many coalition goons around here lately okay we're almost ready to go here I need to calibrate the transmission settings, and then we should be able to send the Emperor's message out to deep space. Watch my back. We've come too far to fail now, and you know the price of failure in the Terran Empire. A failure is not an option for us. You do your job, we'll do ours. I'd ask you to surrender, but we all know that's not in the Terran vocabulary. Oh, come on. Is the entire coalition on Bravo today? Making a skull for my trophy hall. I think it's more of another skulls for the skull throne, but sure. We can go the Picard season two skull throne. Or, um, skull room, whatever, whatever it was we said. We can, we can go that route. That, that works too. That works too. How many of you Terrans have to die before you end this? Uh, well, n not many of us have actually died so far here, so, you know... Certainly nobody who's particularly important. You won't get rid of me that easy. Which is kind of a shame. Ow. I'm okay. Okay. Just a flesh wound. Keep fighting! K Killy, can you speed up just a tad? I'm surprised you're still alive, Ensign. Take you might Fire get yourself a promotion. Also, these guys back here at the, uh, what was our second station, yeah, they're not useful. They're really not. They're just kind of sitting here saying, hey, do you hear a firefight? Yeah? Do you want to go check it out? Nah? Let's stay here. Okay, looks like Killy's done, so now I just got to deal with you. dangerous enough before, but now, I don't want to think about what the Terrans can do with its power. Something needs to be done. Fast. Based on the data we were able to collect before we had to withdraw, it looks like the Terrans are going to use the antenna on Pavo to send a signal into deep space. Somewhere. Okay, it looks like I'll have to rush through this because the game seems to be, or well, OBS is throwing a bit of a fit. Uh, most likely to the other that Ilya spoke of. There's more. They set up tech to weaponize Pava. That antenna will turn into a planetary-based cannon of unimaginable power if we don't stop the Terrans. Something that strong might be able to hurt anything. Even this other you're talking about. And it'll definitely make short work of any Coalition ship in its sights. Even a Dreadnought. Or any vessel in an Alliance fleet, for that matter. 
I think we understand each other here. I know I'm a glorified pirate, but I'm willing to risk it all to stop these bastards. Are you? I am. We are. We will do what needs to be done to stop the Terrans. Well, I'll say this for the pirate. He can make a convincing speech when he wants to. Indeed. Yeah, enough about him. We need to get moving. You ready to go? Yep, let's go. Well, that's a terrible camera placement. We made it. Good timing. The Coalition's taking a beating here, particularly from the Terran flagship. Yes, the ISS Enterprise. Aw, oh, nice of Tilly to bring my ship out to this hellhole of a planet. If there's even one scratch on my ship's hull, one micrometeorite dent, I... Well, you know the rest. Murder, death, kill, etc. Let's get to work, shall we? Before the pirate and all his little friends are blown to pieces. Kissick to fleet, go to red alert. Engage the Terran fleet. Coalition forces, this is raid. The new arrivals are allies. Please don't shoot them. Oh, okay, that shield facing is just, you know, destroyed. Uh, could you... could you not? Sensors are picking up a big energy spike on the surface to follow. Great for impact! Well, that'll leave a mark. Technically, with our placement, there's no way that we could have been shot and the ISS Enterprise. Uh, but moving on, uh, surely they've changed your command codes by now. The command codes they know about, yeah. Fortunately for us, I have a backup set of codes, and they damn sure don't know about them. I hope you're right. Take me with you. You need all the guns you can get over there. Lita? Oh, I have my doubts about this. I suppose having some cannon fodder wouldn't hurt. Fine, the pirate can come too. Just stay out of my way and don't touch anything. Everyone ready to beam over? Yep, let's go. And we made it. With all of our ends and such. That trick will only work once. Now what? We need to take control of the ship. And, you know, if Kumarke, Kili, or the Inquisitor are forced to shuffle off this mortal coil, even better. And, uh, bonus points for all three, of course. Stay focused. We can't stop them if we don't have a functional ship. Helping lead out with her personal vendettas is not what I'm here for. Settle your old grudges on your own time. It's cute that you think you're in charge, pirate. No, I take that back. It's really annoying. Keep quiet while the grown-ups are talking. Now, let's take back my ship. Okay, and how do you intend to do that? You're near engineering. Let's go there, disable security, take control of the turbolifts, and head to the bridge. It's high time I had a little chat with that treacherous purple hobgoblin after all time sitting in my chair 
is about to come to an end. All right, let's get moving. Ready weapons. I meant what I said about your vendettas, Lita. Oh, and here I thought a pirate thug like you would want to kill Terrans. Hm. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, uh, Rayit. Well, in that case, there's going to be a lot of die trying going on here. Okay, Lita. Cleared that pretty quickly. All right. See that engineering alcove? Use the console there to disable the security doors and fields. Pirate, you're on turbo lip controls. We need control of those fast. Okay, and what will you be doing? There's something very dear to me that I need to check on. It won't take long. That's it. That's the plan. Let's make it happen. Very well. Work fast, everyone. I don't like this. Or her. She can't be trusted. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, pirate. Do your job and this'll all be over soon. Okay. Wasn't sure if there was going to be more said by them. How very clever of you. Hmm. It'll take a while to restore control over the security systems. Whatever shall I do to pass the time? I'm sure you'll think of something. How right you are. I believe I have just the thing to amuse myself be seeing you I don't like the sound of that neither do I especially since she's loading shuttles with proto matter bombs in the hangar bay knowing her I fully expect she'll order those shuttles to target your ships and well at least they'll die quickly that's not gonna happen we're gonna stop them look I I get it, but every minute we spend not taking the bridge means that... Ugh. Oh, never mind. You're not budging on this, are you? No, not at all. Fine. Let's get this over with. Yep, let's get to the hangar before it's too late. Kill them all in the Emperor's name! Yeah, what he said. It's just going to ignore the guy who's right next to him. And you ran into the turbo lift. Not a very good commander, are you? You literally ran into the turbo lift because you didn't want to fight. Have a fun time trying to do that. Also, I think that was an ensign that said that, not the lieutenant. Oh, gotta talk to Rayit first. Lita to deal with these bombs. I'll handle them, but I need you to cover me while I work. Okay? Yeah, sure. Whatever. We got your back. God damn it, game. Sometimes you just decide you're not going to accept those um, F inputs. Behind us. Uh, 
luckily this one's not too bad because you basically just kill the enemies that spawn each time he gets to one of those and then that's it moving on to the next set really makes this very easy taking fire over here another set done heading to the ones behind that runabout you mean the ones I'm standing right next to? That's the last one. I think we're done here. Like I said, nice and simple. There. No more proto matter bombs. Now let's do what we came here for and take back my ship. Very well, let's make our ways. Yeah. Very well, let's make our way to the bridge. And they're not gonna run, they're just sort of gonna. Uh, just kind of walk. If I had a strip of latinum for every time I'd heard that, I could buy a small moon. Yeah, people seem to just have this thing about small moons for some reason. I don't know why. People just seem to love small moons. You're quite the persistent little swarm of gnats, aren't you? Stand down, Captain. We won't ask again. How very polite of you. Since we're still being civil, let me speak plainly. You will not take command of this vessel, and should you try? You'll learn a very painful and fatal lesson. Do I make myself clear? The console we need to lower that field is at the back of the bridge. Once it's down, you're finished. There, the console in the back. Uh, we just happen to know that for some reason. I mean, in our case, we fly, a, you know, a ship of the Odys eh, Odyssey lineage. But uh, let's be real here. If you fly any other ship, what are the chances of you knowing? That force field down. Get away from that console! Uh, no thanks. Allow me to introduce my name. Proto matter powered attack room. Kumarke's inner force field is still up. Yeah, yeah, we'll take care of that. To disable her command console. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the panel, in front of the helm. I I know, and technically, Lita, you could do it too. What a damn nuisance! We have to take out our drones first, don't we? No, not really. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, mostly just... <laughs> She's vulnerable now. Mostly just the defensive drones. Oh, great. More of those damn drones. Enough! The drones are down. Let's finish this. Yeah. Yep, they didn't fix that yet. She has oh, drones no, again. no, no. If I... The drones are down again. Take Kumarke no out. Computer, activate auto-destruct sequence. Authorization, Kumarke, zero, zero. Oh, one of two back there is like, oh my god, she killed her. We both could have had the prize. We could have had it all, but no. You wanted it all for yourself. Stabbed me in the back for the favor of a madman. Now you've paid the price for your betrayal. I hope it was worth it. Hello, old girl. I'm back. Computer, open a shipwide channel. Attention, all hands. This is Admiral Lita. Kumarke is dead. I am assuming command of this vessel effective immediately. 
If you disagree, feel free to step out of the nearest airlock and spare me the trouble of hunting you down. I have better things to do. Lita, out. You have your ship back, Lita, but there's more to be done. Damn right there is. I need to settle the score with the annoying Ginger who had the nerve to call this her ship. Hold that thought. We're picking up a strange energy reading on sensors. I... I made it. A little late, Ilya, but... Thanks. It's too late. I did what I could, but I failed. The other is coming. Here. Now. That's not all. There's a Terran fleet approaching at high warp. And then she just pisses off. My place is here, in this chair. You need to get back to yours. Ready to beam back to your ship? Aaliyah is just like, oh. Oh, there's Terrans coming here. Okay, well, I'm out. Peace. Damn, it feels good to sit in this chair again. Really? I do find it interesting that Ray Yeet seems to use the Discovery Transporter effect. Just can't let me have my moment of zen, can you? Fine. Let's deal with the Terran ship so that we can get down to Pabo and deal with our Tilly still breathing problem. Uh, be advised, there are more Terran vessels approaching. This may not be the fight, or excuse me, this may not be a fight we can win. You have got a lot to answer for, Lee. I am going to make sure you pay for what you've done. <laughs> Bring it, sunshine. Terrence killing Terrence. In the end, you all have a knife ready for everyone else to back. That's how I know, pirate. Let's die young and smile. That makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. This is fine. I'm sure we can take it. I don't suppose you have any good news. Not really, no. I suggest taking out those plasma energy bolts the other is firing while we deal with the enemy fleet. Understood. Focus on the plasma bolt. Let us worry about the terror. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Scratch one plasma bolt. Nice shoot. Keep it up. I don't even know where my shuttles are. There they are. I think I got a little too close.
Don't have to do this for too long. Focus on the plasma bolts. Let us worry about the Terrans. Yeah. Oh my god, Ray. Just because my freaking shuttles decide to go out there and try to kill them doesn't mean I need you to remind me as to what you want me to do. Because guess what? I'm doing the thing you want me to do. Just a few ships left to deal with. Okay, the other is recharging. Give us a hand with the Terrans. I mean, are there really that many Terrans left? No, not really. Understood. We'll be ready. The Odin will be... Or, yeah. Understood. We'll be ready. The Odin will be ready. Kiss it out. I feel like that is just a little redundant to be saying, but okay. Somebody fired a torpedo. Strong. Our weapons have no effect. I don't know who the fuck fired a torpedo. That's the Emperor's ship. Look, if this is our last stand, let's do what we can to take that lunatic out. Okay? Maybe that's the solution to the situation with the other we've been looking for. Perhaps, but for now, let's focus on surviving here. I'm sure I can take on the Acheron. Well, you know, except for the fact that they literally make it immune. Oh shit, that hurt. And straight through the shields, too. Let's get out of here. My shields and hull are getting literally frickin' destroyed. I'm guessing you have a few questions. Indeed. We thought you were dead. Terrans did their best, but it wasn't good enough. We were able to get away under cloak, but the portal tech was badly damaged. We started to conduct repairs, but that was slow going in hostile territory. Thankfully, we made contact with the Coalition. Okay, what happened next? While we worked to get the components we needed to go home, we teamed up with Coalition forces to gather intel on Terran activities, especially those regarding Project Pharaoh. When we got wind of what was going on at Pavo, I was able to get a message through to Starfleet Intelligence. They asked me to remain and observe the Terran fleet movements while Ray Yi delivered the intel report. And, fortunately for us, you were able to complete your repairs. Indeed. Would have liked a better outcome over Pavo, but we're still alive, able to fight another day. Agreed. Let's go over all this on Enterprise. We might not have a lot of time before things get dangerous again. I have no clue as to why I just randomly got some expertise and uh, specialization points, but whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and beam over. And you dealt with uh, Kamarke's body pretty quickly. We're... Were you sitting in the captain's chair the entire time the body was there, or did you get rid of it before you sat down? I understand the concern over me being dead. Sometimes that can be a big advantage, especially in the spy game. Agreed. Of course.
first, the Terrans know I'm alive now as well. That'll make work on the other side of the mirror difficult in the future. We're breaking cover and rescuing you. It seemed like a right thing to do. We're grateful for your assistance, Apavo. Don't mention it. By the look of things, there's a lot of dangerous work ahead. We're going to need all hands on deck. Indeed. Thanks again, Commander. Hi, Leah. The other is conflicted, angry. No amount of reason would persuade them to stop, to be peaceful. They want revenge on the Creator above all else. They believe the Terran Emperor can make that happen. And that's why the other went to Pavo, despite the obvious threat. Yes, the other will stop at nothing to get what they want. In that way, they are very much like the Emperor. Any ideas on what we should do next? We must stop the Emperor. I believe we can still connect with the other and convince them to seek a peaceful resolution to this conflict. We may need to make direct contact at the core of the other, as the crew of Enterprise once did with Vija. That type of contact may succeed where I failed. That could be difficult, Ilya, but if it must be done, we will find a way. Can't say I'm thrilled to see Lita in command of one of the most dangerous starships in existence, but these things happen on our side of the mirror. Well, don't worry. As of right now, at least, she's technically on our side, so it doesn't hurt to have two Enterprises. Unfortunately so. The Coalition could do a lot of good with a ship like that. But we'll keep up the good fight with what we have, when we can. You're doing good work over there. It's appreciated. Thanks. And speaking of that good work, I'll be getting back to it shortly. We'll keep an eye on what the Empire does at Pavo. When we have new intel, we'll get it your way. Uh, thank you for that. Good luck out there. Burgess. The situation at Pavo is cause for great concern, to be certain. Tactical planners from the Alliance are working on our next steps as we speak. I suspect they will need to work quickly, Commander. Indeed. Fortunately, we have the data collected by DeSoto and the Coalition in the Mirror Universe. The path to success may lie within that. Keep me posted, Commander. I want to be part of the next operation when it happens. Enterprise is mine again. Huh, I expect I'll have to deal with a few would-be captains and their attempts to end me. Ah, that comes with the center chair on a Terran ship. So it seems. Too bad Ilea wasn't able to talk some sense into the other. Not sure I like leaving it in the hands of the Emperor and his lackeys. Especially killing him. We'll do what we must to stop them. Count on it. <sighs> Looks like things are wrapping up here. I don't think it'll be long before we meet again. To do something outrageous and dangerous. <sighs> Ready to return to your ship? Y yes, but not right this second. Uh, I do want to go ahead and say I do kind of like the Terran look of the Aquarius bridge here. Er. Well, I, technically, I guess it's not the Aquarius bridge. Um. Although it is definitely very similar. Some modifications, for example, they don't seem to have the reader transporter pad back there. But either way, I really do kind of like the look of it. I like the red carpet. I really do. I love the red carpet. Uh, obviously, you know, I'd swap out the Terran logos for Federation logos, but nonetheless, I generally like the look of it. Although, I guess you also need to brighten up the lights a little as well. But I think that'd be fine. Going by the little bit of, you know, actually well-lit area right here, around Lita. I think that this would actually be a fairly nice-looking bridge. And that is vaguely supposed to be a mirror. Clearly. But it's not exactly correct. Because it actually doesn't have the central chair. It has the two side chairs. But it doesn't actually have the captain's chair. There, and I, I don't see a reason for why the captain's chair up here would not show up. 
Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to our ship. Later. Security bioscan complete. Access granted. Computer, transport object 53 Sigma to my location. Hello, old friend. Question is, who the hell is the old friend? I've reviewed your report several times now, and it's still hard to believe what has happened. The Terran Emperor has summoned the Mirror Universe version of Beejer, and means to subjugate it somehow. To attempt such a thing is madness. And yet, the Emperor and his forces are out to do the impossible. What's worse, they may succeed. I've called for emergency meetings with our partners in the Alliance. We need a plan. When we have one, we'll be in touch. I can see this potentially ending with a V'ger versus V'ger fight. Uh, I'm not turning in the mission right now because I have my daily progress for today. I'd rather hold on to it for another day when I, you know, maybe don't have the time to go ahead and actually run TFO or something to get the daily progress. Uh, so that's going to be it for today and obviously for this series until the next content release, um, which I think is generally gonna be like fall or winter sort of time frame so you know probably around about five six months ish i want to say i believe that's the way their release tends to go there's sort of like three releases a year kind of one like towards the end of or I guess maybe it'd be four, actually. I don't know. It, it depends, but we'll see. Whatever the case ends up being, because normally the anniversary comes with new new content. Um, but yeah, whatever. So I, I want to say the next time will probably be around the fall or winter or so will be my guess. Probably fall, realistically. Because winter would be a little too late because the anniversary would be right around the corner. So yeah, probably around fall would be my guess. So like I said, you're probably looking at, uh, I said five to six, but realistically, it's actually probably more like three to five months, give or take, depending upon how late in sort of the fall time frame the release were to occur. But yeah, so I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.